Martel Holt from Love and Marriage Huntsville might be in a little trouble with Carlos King and the Oprah Winfrey Network after a recent comment that he made on Instagram claiming the show was scripted and that they were actors. Well, y'all know that I worked on Love and Marriage Huntsville for two seasons. So if anybody can give you the tea on this, it's me. And you better believe we're going to talk about it. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here or you have not subscribed yet, please make sure you hit the subscribe button right below this video and you turn on your post notifications so you never miss a beat. Also, if you don't mind clicking the thumbs up button right below this video and like the video, that helps me get into the algorithm so more people like your beautiful self can find me. Now, if you want to join the conversation, you can get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video and what Martel had to say. And if you think the show is scripted and that they're all actors. And the last but not least, if you want to join the Damien After Dark movement, you can donate to the channel by clicking the description box below this video. And there will be ways that you can donate using payment applications like PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. All right, all right. So where do we begin, child? Let me first start this video off by saying I haven't watched Love and Marriage Huntsville in a while, okay? Um, I for, for those who don't know, and the reason why I'm posting, I'm reason first of all, the reason why I'm posting this video is because one, I have insight to what Martel is saying and whether or not it's true. As I said in the beginning of this video, I have worked on the show. My subscribers know that. If you're new here and you don't, I worked on Love and Marriage Season 1B and Season 2A. Um, sometimes if they film, um, say a network films eight episodes and the eight episodes do well, they will say, okay, let me order eight more episodes. So the first eight will be season 1A, and then the second eight that they order will be season 1B. That's kind of why you guys, if you watch Love and Marriage, they'll air some episodes, and then they'll take a break for a few months, and then they'll come back with more. That's kind of what you're seeing. So um, I worked on the show as a production assistant the first season, and then I was promoted to a producer the second season. Um and what we're going to talk about is, if you watch the most recent episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville, and I didn't, I just saw a clip. I stopped watching the show a couple of seasons ago. Um, I still love the cast. I still love, you know, Kingdom Reign, Carlos. You know, I got my start there, so I have nothing bad to say about them. However, I don't think the show is really what it used to be. And it shouldn't be. Shows grow. They change. It can't stay the same, right? However, I do feel like it's not as authentic as it used to come off. Just my opinion. Now, in the most recent episode, the season finale, we see Martel meet up with Melody, his ex-wife that he cheated on and had a baby with outside. Of, he cheated on and had a baby with someone else outside of their marriage. So in the episode, and for those who don't know, they have four kids together, just for just for context. So in the season finale, we see Martel meet up with Melody at a coffee shop. And when they meet up, he brings her flowers. And she's like, what are the flowers for? And he was like, they're for you. You know, I'm just trying to be nice. And she's like, no, you know, I don't want the flowers. No, thank you. Take them back. You give them to the children. You know, I don't want this to be any misconceptions. I don't want to lead you on. You know, she even said, don't you have a girlfriend, a baby mama, whatever. And he said, no, you know, a Sheree. She said, aren't you dating Sheree Whitfield from Real Housewives of Atlanta? And he said, no, I'm not dating anyone. And she said, well, I'm dating someone. <laughs> Melody said, okay, well, I'm dating someone. I can't accept these flowers, right? Of course, Martel didn't, you know, he wasn't too happy about it. You know, he wanted, I think he Somewhere in his mind, he hopes that he and Melody will get back together someday. I think he knows that he fucked his family up. I think he knows all these things. However, Melody's moved on with her life, you know? Being around them and seeing, you know, their relationship and watching it as well, 
Martel was fucked up a lot. You know, he didn't just cheat on Melody and have a baby outside the marriage, and that was it. He cheated on her multiple times. She took him back. He would do it again. You know, and there's only so much a woman, a person can take. So I understand, you know, she's moved on at this point. She's moved on past him. She's, she's, she's focused on her career. She's dating. She's trying to go on to the next chapter of her life. And I think Martel is still holding on to that. Now, let's get into the juice of it all. Now, the juice of it all is... Martel commented on 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 some post. I'm not sure whose post it was that he commented on. But I guess he was pissed at the way the episode came out, the edit, whatever. So he left this comment on Instagram and I'm going to post it up here and we're going to read it together, okay? He posted this comment on Instagram. I don't know if he was responding to someone. I think he was responding to a clip that a fan page posted or something. Um, and let's read it together. He says, I don't want her back. This scene is me playing team ball. I was asked to meet with Melody and Carlos called me after me telling the other producers, I'm not taking her flowers. She got me in court saying I'm abusing my kids. Now she has merchandise saying she's against abuse. She tried to get me. Carlos begged me to take her effing flowers. Talking about the Holtz need to take the show back. That's what, that's what Martell is saying that Carlos said. The Holtz need to take the show back. My only question was, did y'all talk with Melody? The answer was yes. So I was down, but just like you were delusional about at SAPH wanting you back. I don't know who Saf is. I need to look that up and see if that's a real person. But just like you were delusional about Saf wanting you back, it's the same over here. The frustration you see on my face is her not doing what the producer said she was going to do. All this shit is definitely for TV. We're actors. Carlos, don't delete this. Let's have a real conversation. I might be getting a phone call to fire me after this comment. Sorry, but you guys are not going to continue to villainize me. Make me out to be an abuser, a stalker, or making it seem like I want Melody back. I'm done with y'all making me out to be something I'm not. Film my real life or don't film me at all. Now, I don't know who Martel was referring to when he said, but just like you were delusional about at SAPH wanting you back, it's the same over here. I don't know if he meant to tag somebody and he misspelled their name or what, but I'm like, well, who, who are you talking about, Martel? Who did Melanie want back? But she was delusional because the guy didn't want her back. I want to know who this guy allegedly was. Anyway, so let's 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 break this down, okay? Let's start at the top. Because he says, I was asked to meet with Melody and Carlos called me after me telling the other producers, I'm not taking her flowers. So here's the thing. Let's say the producers did ask Martell, I'm, I won't keep it all the way real with y'all, okay? Just from, from my experience working on the show. Let's say the producers did tell Martell, why don't you take Melody Flowers? Why would they say that to Martell? Think about it, you guys. Use your brain for a second. Why would they just say to Martell, why don't you take Melody some flowers? If Martell's not thinking about Melody in any kind of way, if he don't want her back, if he's moving on with his life, is he? if he's doing his own thing and ain't thinking about Melody the way Melody is with him, why would the producers say, why don't you take Melody some flowers? I'm going to tell y'all why. Because Martell has probably, I'm not saying he is, okay? He's probably telling the producers that, he wants his family back. He wants Melody back. 
he and 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 I, I need to say this for context so you guys understand. When you, because you all may be thinking, well, why would he tell the producers that? So in reality TV, on these shows, one of the jobs for the of of the of like uh blah, 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 one of the jobs of the associate producer or the story producer, whomever, whichever producer it is. I'm going to say associate. One of the jobs of the associate producer, which is the job that I had, is you are assigned a cast member. So say that I'm assigned Martell and Melody, right? My job is going to be, you know, when Martell and Melody get to a scene, I'm going to talk to them, see how they're going. After Martell and Melody film a scene, I'm going to call them. Hey, Martell, how'd the scene go? How are you feeling? You know, how did your day go? What What did you think about what Melody said? How did you feel about X, Y? So your job as the producer is to have a relationship with the cast. Build trust with the cast, right? So they feel comfortable telling you things. So they feel comfortable working with you. So what I think happened was, throughout the season... When Martel was talking with his producer, because there's more than one producer, guys. You have producers assigned to different cast members. You've got a producer in the office following everybody's story. you got the head producers. You know what I'm saying? So there's, there's, there's multiple producers at play here. I think what happened is while the season was filming, and they're talking to Martel, that he was probably confiding in them and inventing and saying things like, I want my family back. You know, I miss Melody. I miss my family. I regret what I did. And the reason why I say that is because I feel like I recall and remember Martel saying things like that when he fucked up. Back, you know, a couple, I was on the show in 2019 and 2020. I can recall even back then him saying things like that on and off camera. So... My thing is, Martel, were you saying this the whole time behind the scenes to producers? So now, as a producer, they're thinking, okay, you want your wife back, but you don't want to say it on camera. You don't want to, you know, your pride, your ego's in the way. You don't want to say it on camera. You're afraid of the rejection, whatever. Okay, let's try to ease into it. Why don't you meet up with Melody? Why don't you guys meet up and try to talk? Okay, yeah, I'll meet up with her. Oh, and better yet, why don't you bring her some flowers? Let's start with that. Try bringing her some flowers and see how that... That's what I think happened there, okay? Now, as far as her her having him in court saying he's abusing the kids, I know nothing about that. I'm not going to really delve into that. He says, she got me in court saying I'm abusing my kids. Now she has merchandise saying she's against abuse. I Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I never witnessed anybody being abused. I don't know. Um, okay, let's continue. She tried to get me. Now, he says, Carlos begged me to take her effing flowers. I don't know if that's true. Maybe Carlos did. Maybe he did. I don't see him begging. Please, Martel, please take Melody flowers. Please. I mean, is that going to make or break the show? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. I don't know. And he says, Carlos also said, the Holtz need to take the show back. And I think if Carlos said that, I think what he's meaning is, I think somewhere in Carlos's head, he hopes for Melody and Martel to get back as well. I think he does. But I think he also knows deep down that's not going to happen because Melody's moved on. And Martel is not going to stop cheating on her just because some years have gone by. You know, they both have to move on. Martell and Melody both. And I think I think that's also the problem with the show, Carlos. If that's what you want and you hope that they get back together, I don't think they ever will. And I think the show needs to move on from that, you know. Whether you have to get rid of Martell and film Melody by herself. Whether we have to give Martell a break and he need to take a few seasons off. I don't know. But I don't see how they're going to really exist in a space together and coexist unless unless you know the children are around the only sense it will make for martell and melody to be in the same room together is if their children are involved other than that them going on couple trips them going to dinner with the fletchers or seeing tisha and marceau it just doesn't make sense for them to be together to do that so i think that's what the next step they need to take with that show is figuring out what to do with the martellity and the martellity 
<laughs> the Bartel and the melody of it all, right? Um, so, he says, the whole... Uh, Carlos says he says that Carlos says the Holtz need to take the show back, and then uh, Martel says my only question was, did y'all talk to Melody about it? So if you didn't want to get back with Melody Martel, if you didn't want to do anything with the flowers or bring her flowers, why did you say ask the producers? Well, did y'all talk to Melody? Because you wanted to make sure she was on board with it. You wanted to make sure she wasn't going to do what she did in the episode, which was tell you I don't want the flowers. You know, whatever. And maybe the producers did talk. Let's, uh, let's say all this is true, what Martell is saying. Maybe the producers did talk to Melody and say, hey, how would you feel if Martell brought you flowers to the scene? And maybe she knew and, 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 and she clowned you on camera, but I don't think she knew. I, I don't think producers told Melody that Martel was going to bring flowers to the scene. So I don't, like, I'm not saying Martel is lying. Maybe that did happen, but I don't see that happening only because, here's another little insight. On these shows, you don't give the cast any information about the scene. When they, when, when a cast member walks into a scene, the most they may know is what, what, like, what it, what it's about. Like, am I going to a fundraiser? Am I going to a coffee shop to meet with Tisha? Am I going to the gym to meet with Martel? That's the most you're going to know as a cast member, right? You're not going to really know what you're talking about. I mean, you might know what you're talking about sometimes. Sometimes the producer might say, hey, bring this up. Hey, we need you to talk about this. But overall, I don't see the producers at, saying to Melody, how would you feel about Martel bringing flowers? Because then that kind of taints the authenticity of the scene. That kind of jeopardizes the authenticity of it, right? So he says that the producers told him that, yes, they talked to Melody about it. And then uh, Martel goes on to say, but just like you were delusional about whoever wanting you back, it's the same over here. Now, that line right there tells me that Martel watched this scene, got in his feelings, got upset. And that line right there, Martel, just makes it look like you do want her back and that you're salty that she clowned you on TV. Saying, just like you were delusional about so-and-so wanting you back, it's the same over here. He says, the frustration you see on my face is her not doing what the producer said she was going to do. What did the producers tell you that she was going to do? Say, oh my God, Martel, yes. Thank you so much. I want you back. Let's go live happily ever after and ride off into the Huntsville sunset and make baby number five. Hell no. Come on, Martel. And I like you, Martel. I really do. You've always been kind to me. But come on. I'm just not believing that part either, Martel. The producers, you, you've been do, you've been doing this show for what five six years. The producers are not going to tell you that another cast member is going to do this. It, it just just doesn't work like that. And I'm telling y'all because I know I've been there. I was there. I know, well, not this particular scene, but I know. They're they're not going to give you a heads up of this is going to go down. This is going to go down. This is going to go down. Y'all think the Real Housewives of Atlanta producers told Sheree, or told Kim Zosiak that Sheree was going to tug her wig a little bit? Y'all think they told Danielle Staub that Teresa Judice was about to flip the table? No. Now, the part that got me to where I wanted to make a video about this is he says, the frustration you see on my face is her not doing what the producer said she was going to do. All this shit is definitely for TV. We're actors. Carlos, don't delete this. Let's have a real conversation. So that's the part that I wanted to make a video about because, listen, there's such the biggest stereotype in reality TV that it's fake, that it's scripted. And listen, there are some shows that are fake, that are staged. Um, and it may, could be scripted, 
but love and marriage is not one of them. And we have to really think about what he's saying because he's saying that they're actors and this is all um for this is all for TV. This is definitely for TV. If you were first of all, if y'all were actors, you wouldn't be able to act your way out of a motherfucking plastic bag. None of y'all would be able to act. It would come off so awful on TV, we would be able to see right through it, okay? Um, it's just not you guys. Like, I just want to stress that enough because I can see why people think it is fake. But if we, if, if, if it was scripted, think about it. The cast members would have to memorize, a, and I got coupons over here, but the cast members would have to memorize a script every night. Show up, action, say the script. A lot of these people on reality TV, and this I'm not, I'm not referencing the Love and Marriage Huntsville cast. I'm talking about as a whole. A lot of people on reality TV could not memorize a script to save their life. They can barely memorize their social security number. Y'all think they could memorize a script? Come on, now. It's not fake. It's not staged. I'm, I'm going to give y'all the real tea. The most, of, the most it is is... You get a schedule just like you do with a job. You get a schedule that says this is this is on Monday you're gonna show up here. Tuesday you're gonna show up here. Wednesday you're gonna show up here. Thursday you're gonna show up here. Before the season, the cast members tell producers what's going on in their life. This is what's going on. I just had a baby. My husband's been drinking a lot. I'm depressed. I'm unhappy. He's abusive. The the producers will take what you're telling them, what's going on in your life. Okay, let's build a story around it. Let's talk about it. Let's see what we're going to... Then they take what the cast member has told them, and that's how they build the storylines, and they build the episodes, right? That's how they build the schedule. You're going to show up here. We're going to film this. We're going to show up to counseling for you and your husband, and you're going to film this. We're going to show up here, and you and your husband are going to have dinner, and you're going to discuss why he's abusive, right? There's no script, it's just, it's like somebody coming into your life and taking your life, is, imagine your life is like a puzzle and it's just all over the place. It's like a producer come in and they take your life and like put the puzzle pieces together to tell a story and show your life, if that makes sense. The most part of reality TV that is staged is being told what to talk about. Because think about this. In real life, if you and your friend get into an argument, chances are you're probably going to just ignore your friend until you guys are ready to talk about it, right? Or if somebody in real life pisses you off, you're like, fuck you, and you go about your way. On reality TV, if somebody pisses you off, okay, we're going to go have lunch and we're going to talk about it. Which is actually how it should be done in real life. You know, we avoid issues and they fester when in real life we should sit down and talk about it. We could take notes from reality TV if you think about it. But, um, yeah, the, they're not actors. It's not staged. It's not scripted. It's not all for TV. Now, there are some shows that do. There are some things that aren't real. And when I say that, here's another example. When I was on the show... When I was on the show, Melody and Martell, they lived in this gated community and the HOA, the housing authority, whatever you call it, the HOA despised the fact that Melody and Martell were filming the show because we would have three, four, five, six cars outside their house, right? So the HOA didn't like that. So they told us we can no longer film in that neighborhood. So what happened? We end up filming in the Fletcher's house. Y'all know the Fletcher's? You're watching Love and Marriage now. You know who the Fletcher's are? This is before the Fletcher's were on the show. Season one and two. Go back and watch season two. You'll see Melody and Martell are filming in the Fletcher's house in some of those episodes. The episode where Martell gives Melody the the, the push gift or the, the, the necklace or the ring. He gives her some kind of jewelry. That's in the Fletcher's home. We had to go find a home for them to film in because the HOA wouldn't allow us to film in their home. That is probably like the most scripted or fake that it is. 
I hate using the word scripted because that's not true. But that's the most fake or staged that these shows get. Little things like that they'll do, you know, to try to maneuver. But as far as it being fake, come on, Martell. And I don't understand why Martell's doing this. Like, I get that you're frustrated and you're pissed off because you look a certain way on TV. You, it, lo it looks bad, I'm not going to lie. I understand. So you're trying to take the narrative back. But don't throw the show under the bus. Don't sh don't throw this opportunity that you've been given under the bus because y'all have made a lot of money off this show. You've made a lot of money off this show. You've got a platform off this show. Your children are going to be able to eat for years off this show. Now, regardless, they would have been able to eat, I think, regardless had they had, had the show come along or not. But I just hope that, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen because if we read the rest of the conversation... Martell says, I might be getting a phone call to fire me after this comment. Sorry, but you guys are not going to continue to villainize me, make me out to be an abuser, a stalker, or making it seem like I want Melody back. I'm done with y'all making me out to be something I'm not. Film my real life or don't film me at all. Martell, that is your real life, babe. You do want Melody back. Like, let's stop acting like that. You know you fucked up, you hate that you fucked up, and you want her back. But it's not going to work. And you, you, you tried it, and it didn't work on the show. And to be honest with you, if I was Carlos, I don't know if I would fire you, but I would definitely suspend you for the next season or two. I think Martell needs a break. I think the show needs a break. I think the show not. I don't think the show needs to go away for a break. I think the show needs a break from Martell and they need to, you know, let him go for a while, let him figure out what he wants to do, film Melody separately. Cause them being together is just not authentic, organic. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I don't talk about love and marriage a lot. I don't talk about, I don't talk about it on my channel much. Cause like I said, I'm not watching the show like I used to. I no longer work on it. And I also respect and appreciate Angela, who works for Carlos King and Kingdom Rain, you know, she gave me the opportunity to um, work on the show. And I, I feel like I for, I'm forever indebted to her because she gave me my first chance and opportunity. I'll never have a bad word to say about her or, you know, that network or that production company. They were great to me. Um, well, that's a whole other that's a whole other story I'm thinking of with 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 anyway, anyway. I want to hear what you guys have to think about this. What do you guys think about what Martell had to say when it comes to calling out Carlos, Melody, and Love and Marriage Huntsville? Do you guys believe him? Do you think all these things that he said actually happened? Um, now, even though I told you guys that the show is not scripted and fake and that they're not actors, what do you guys think about that? Um... And, and, and listen, if if it was the case, if that was the case, I would be completely real with y'all. I would. I don't like I said, I don't work for the show anymore. I don't really have any plans to go back to the show. I mean, you know, if they call me tomorrow and ask me to come back, yeah, I think I would. But as far as me, like considering trying to get back, like I don't, I don't have any ties to it. Is what I'm trying to get to. So, um, I could come up here and speak the truth if I wanted to. I'm not in any contracts. I'm not in any NDAs. The entire time I worked on that show, never was I on set did they say action and people start acting and cut and, and you know, and say this and do that and be, it, it just doesn't happen that way. So I'd love to hear from you guys on what you think about it. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a beat. Also, I would appreciate it so much if you guys like this video and click the thumbs up button down there. It helps me get in the algorithm. Join the conversation. And if you want to donate to the Damien After Dark movement, please go into the description box below this video. And there will be ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. I will also post my Amazon wish list there for those who choose to take that route. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Damien After Dark. And we'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs>